Hi friends, welcome back to Songs Guitar Music and today's song is also one of my all-time favorites and I don't think it's just mine I'm sure many of you also have this in your favorites list This song, I think I keep going back to it a lot It sounds crazy because the song is very old It is Oh Mere Dil Ke Chain Bolo Mi Nere Kheven Saad What do I say about the song? I don't have to talk about the singing and the music because we all know how great Mr. R. D. Burman was in Jamda and his combination with the great Kishore Kumar. Instead, I will tell you why I like the song. So let me just play the song for you a, a bit. I don't think we have to go through the entire song because. Most of it in terms of music and orchestration and instrumentation is uh, stays consistent throughout the verses as you play it has uh, three or four verses including the intro verse. But other than that, I think there is something special about this song, something in particular that makes it connect with people. So I talk about that a little bit more. So before we go there, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done it already. Stay with me through the series of uh, breakdowns of music or songs that I like. So hit the subscribe button and come back and let's do the analysis. See, this song takes me back to my childhood instantly. And when I talk childhood, it's like even before I was maybe five, six years old. Because my first memories of this song is special. You know, as a child, when you know nothing about music, just listen to music for the fun of it, for the uh, pleasure of it and because somebody is making you hear that song or uh, piece of music, you uh, tend to have different opinions about different kinds of music even at that stage of your life. You may not be able to express it in words but you still feel something because music has that uh, quality about it. It can instantly change your mood or feeling and that's stays true for me, especially with songs like this. It was not just this song, there were a, a, a set of songs, maybe 5-10 songs, which used to make me feel very emotional, as a kid also. Although I didn't understand those emotions, and I didn't know this is a love song, or a romantic song, or a sad song, I didn't know anything about it. Okay, let's play the song. What you notice is the way things are orchestrated in the beginning. You know, there's a lot of uh, music in terms of different instruments coming together to create that mood. And that was the quality of Artie Burman's music. Uh, I think he was one of those musicians of that generation who used to focus a lot on the instrumentation also and not just on the lyrics and vocals. So his music, uh, his uh, songs used to be musically very rich. Now, for me, I think this song is more special because of the lyrics. Like I said, you know, Artie Burman's music is legendary. We all know that. Kishore Kumar singing is legendary. We all know that. But what stands out for me in this song is are the lyrics by Mr. Machu Sutanpuri and he is responsible for a lot of iconic songs of Hindi cinema from my Ladki Piki Bhagi Thies starting from there to Papa Kehte Hain Kauchane Kaha Mera Jigar Gaya Ji Kya Hua Tera Bada There are many other songs that he has written which are beautifully written but this one in particular stands out because if you just listen to that one verse, you know, if I just forward it and I'll make you hear that.
This particular verse tells you the story of the song. You know, it is so beautifully written. Each and every verse is so well written. If you observe, the music is exactly the same for all the verses, and uh, you know, which was a common practice then. Even the bridge sections are similar. You know, all the uh, melodies and all the harmony that's happening in bridge section is also the same. But just imagine the uh, the depth. of the composer's thoughts very saying you to akela bhi aksar gir ke sambhal sakta hu tum jo pakad lo haath mein to duniya badal sakta hu manga hai tumhe duniya ke liye ab khud hi sanam faisla ke liye so well written so beautifully thought and if you listen to each of the verses they are so deeply meaningful and i think there is a conflict with the situation of the song and there is a constant conflict between the orchestration and the feeling that the song is projecting so the song is and the way uh, kishor da has sung it it's, it's projecting a little bit of melancholic feeling but the orchestration and instrumentation is all very fast and tempy because of the chords that are running in the background you also feel it keeps adding to the melancholic feeling and that's why the song is beautiful so why i really don't care about the visuals of the song whether it was uh, uh, properly su- uh, suited to whatever situation it was in the film but i am glad that they <laughs> made the song the way it is and uh, we all should be thankful to all these legendary people who uh, made such beautiful music that has stayed with us for i don't know maybe for more than 40 50 years now. So that was a quick take on this song. Uh, I am sure you people also connect with the song a lot. If you do, then please let me know through your through your comments or whatever you want to share about the song, your own observations of the song. I recently did a short cover of the song. I will just link it here. If you like it, then share it. So stay with me for this entire series. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. Please connect with me. I would like to hear your thoughts about music. How you listen to music, and what all things you pick up from it. How do you learn from music if you're a musician? So that's about it for this video. This is Tanesh again from Songs for Music, and I'll see you in the next one.